All right, YouTube. Air BMW back, and uh, this is the center console out of my car. And there's a few parts that are going to be transferred over to the new console, which I have down here. This is a uh, duct that brings the air conditioning to the passengers in the back seat. And it also has this really neat little feature where it's got a little offshoot that goes into your cup holder to uh, keep your cup holder cold. Who knew? So the few things I need to get out of here is I need to get this cup holder and this piece of ducting out. And this is actually the auxiliary input cable which is part of the reason this had to be replaced is uh, it would push through on this center console and uh, this is the wiring for the um, the uh, 12 volt outlet that's under the cover and it comes with the new console so I don't have to take that out and then once I get those two pieces out what I'll need to do is remove the armrest and then, quite frankly, this is going in the garbage. It is sticky. It is just disgusting. I really genuinely don't know what these folks who owned this vehicle over time did to it or with it, but um, it's nasty. And that's the only way I can describe it. So no matter how hard you try, it seems like half the stuff's always somewhere else. So I think this should be pretty straightforward. It, it appears to just be some tabs down in here. All right, well, there's the duct anyway. So, now, let's see if we can figure out what else is going on here. There seems to be... Alright, YouTube, so uh, about to start putting things back together. This is the, um, this is the cup holder that goes uh, inside of here. And uh, for those of you not familiar with it, this uh, little slide button here controls the air conditioning on and off, which comes through this duct here and uh, helps keep your drink cold. So uh, this is really a pretty straightforward reassembly, but I got news for you. It was a bear to get out of there. Um, it's, it's got all these clips down in here. And believe me, they uh, they do not want this thing coming out, and uh, and I'm still not entirely sure that I'm going to be able to 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 do this one-handed. Um, but we're going to give it a try and see. Yeah, it's uh, you got alignment pins and. All this other stuff going on here. So and the last thing I want to do is break anything. So there it is. Almost. Gotta get the button button over here. There's this one last. Okay, so there it is. So now it's all snapped back into place. And you can see, um, here's the, uh, the on-off switch, which allows you to have air or not have air in your cup holder. So that's very nice. And now the next thing that has to go in is this duct. 
and I, and I think it's pretty straightforward. Gasket materials built in, and it's got a little recess right there. Down here in the back, just the snap in. Should be just the snap in. That's all it takes to get it out. And then I'm just going to sort of fiddle around with this a little bit. Try and get it so it seals all the way around and there you go that should that should do it so um, I've uh, commented before in some of my videos that I'm not much of a modifier um, but I'm considering doing one while I've got the console out there's um, this is the audio auxiliary in that goes up here in this hole and as near as I can tell that one little tab that you can see right there um, it's, it's just hard to see it there's that little tab right there that this plug sits on and when you push in with your headphone jack, uh, it pops all the way through. And that's the way I thought when I got the other, when I got this car, that there must have been two tabs and that one of them just broke off. Well, this is the brand new console and there's still only one. So uh, I'm going to think about figuring out a, another way of securing that. And I'm also going to give some thought to, while I've got this out, um, routing, routing my cable up under here, under the, the underside, back in here, and then coming up under this tray here somewhere and connecting it in there. I don't know. I, it's, it's got to be neat. I don't really care for the idea of putting it in the glove box, so uh, it, it does just fine for me laying in the passenger seat and um, on longer trips where I'm not in and out it does fine just just laying in the laying in the tray here so I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do about that but um, at this point it's time to uh, to start putting the the new console in and uh, that old piece of junk over there is done so um, I'll catch up with you in a little while oh I might as well try and show you while I can it, this black car is just really, really hard. Uh, what what the interior looks like. Um, trying to keep track of all the uh, all the wires. Um, the beauty of this is that it, you know they they're all the, the exact same length and they only go in one place. Um, this one is. Um, I gather is an extra. I, I don't know what it's for. It wasn't connected to anything, but it proved to be a bear trying to get the um, the console out because it was um, clipped on. It's it's hard to see, um, but it it had a slide clip, and I kept trying to undo these. Um, plugs, which as I've said before on so many occasions, a dang. BMW plugs are terrible because they're all a little different but in the end it, it just popped off and I have no earthly idea what they're for because the the, the purple one well, it's hard to see but the purple one there on the left doesn't plug into anything and then the the big one in the center um, doesn't plug into anything either so I think it's one of those that they add in just because there's some option that requires it so um, I'm not uh, I'm not planning on worrying too much about it it's going to go back in its normal place 
but I thought I would take a little time just to show you all the parts that have been uh, cleaned up and scrubbed up and I've uh, cleaned my leather and conditioned it and um, the boot it looks much better uh, this piece here is going to have to be replaced again it's it's just gotten kind of uh, you know marred up but um, other than that very happy so uh, gonna keep working and I'll give you an update in a while all right talk to you later guys Hey YouTube's Hair BMW. Uh, I was just uh, trying to edit my videos together and realized that uh, ran out of uh, film or digital space before the um, completion of the center console. So I thought I'd come out here before it got dark and just give you a uh, final shot of the uh, brand new console all installed. Um, it is beautiful. I love it. It turned out uh, pretty much just exactly the way I was hoping. It all went back together perfectly. Everything is uh, working. Nice and shiny. No more sticky. No more anything. So, uh, and I did uh, have a comment. Someone asked me if we had chickens. Apparently they can hear the chickens in the background during... Uh, some of my videos and the answer is no uh, we don't have chickens but believe it or not our neighbors across the street there have a whole slew of them and I guess I've just uh, gotten to where I don't hear them anymore I don't know but uh, sun's going down but it is a uh, beautiful day here in eastern North Carolina on the river and uh, Spent most of the day yesterday cleaning up the old 330i, and uh, we have just enough of the pollen left that uh, you'd never know it looking at the car, but if you're going to own a black car, that's just the way it is. So, uh, been kind of interesting. I did uh, clean these headlights, and uh, that one's done, and this one's not. I don't know if it will show up in the video or not, but it's still got that yellow tint to it, which is why it's got to get cleaned up. But anyway, that's about it, YouTube. I wanted to give you a final shot about the center console.